In tonight's Dine and Dish, we drop in on an iconic North Valley restaurant that's been serving customers for well over a century now. A Action News anchor Delia Wrong joins us from the newsroom with why you need to pace yourself at Wool Growers in Los Banos. Dale? Great advice, Margo and Warren. You have to slowly savor Basque food because the dishes keep coming. The Basque region covers northern Spain to southern France, and Wool Growers offers authentic, filling Basque cuisine. It's a landmark. You cannot live without trying lambs, too. The food and, and the ambiance. And the dishes never stop coming. It's like, wow, you know, it's like more. Today we have pork chop, lamb chop, baked chicken, tri-tip, New York steak, or ribeye steak. People pack into wool growers for great Basque food in Los Banos. I'm Basque. I'm from the Basque country. The food is similar to the Basque country. And uh, I like it. I like everything. You see me? <laughs> Diners enjoy the party-like atmosphere. They feel like they're coming to a friend's house, right? So I think that's that's what makes this place different. Ruth's daughter, Talisa, manages the restaurant. This is more French-style uh, bass, but um, the Spanish side of in the Basque country, um, their food is so rich, and I could taste it here. That taste even brings these guys in from Hollister. It is an extra special place. My favorite is Thursday because of the, the lamb shanks. The best I've had anywhere, anytime. That smells really good. What's on that? Like a garlic, garlic sauce? Garlic and butter, yes. Wow. The vegetable soup recipe has never changed. Uh, so it has meats, uh, potatoes, uh, celery, carrots. Eddie likes the pig's feet so much that we have to come on Tuesdays once in a while. <laughs> you won't forget these pig's feet. The sauce is a, a little spicy, but really tasty, really soft. Fresh lamb chops are butchered every day. I say it's a lot of food. A lot of food and really good. <laughs> Reynoso says traditionally large servings were needed for folks who had been working all day on the ranch. Like people like drugs, you know, it's like that's too much. Yeah, right. Right? But for them, it's like, give me more. Because it's, it's just like family over here. Wool Growers was built in the 1890s. There would be a lot of travelers and they would use this kind of like a boarding house. Old hotel rooms have been elegantly remodeled and now serve as spaces to hold gatherings. We found this young cowboy at the bar. That was taken in the Azores when I was 12 years old. Danny's sister-in-law used to own wool growers. Thank you. Where are you guys coming from? Uh, I'm just from Madera. I'm from Modesto. Ruth bought it seven years ago and knows the importance of keeping with tradition. And it's like a responsibility through the, to the community because this is like their place. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Hope to see you guys soon. People often drive right through Los Banos on their way to the Bay Area, but might not know about wool growers, but now you do. Margo and Warren, have you had Basque food? Oh yes, Dale, I have many good family memories growing up here in Fresno at the Santa Fe Basque restaurant mm -hmm. where my parents would always take us. So incredible food and lots of great memories. It's yeah. probably the last time I had Basque food. You know, Kevin was just reminding us that that restaurant was one of the favorites of the late great John Madden. John he Madden, there. he had an almond orchard out on the west side of, uh, of Merced County and uh, used to go there very frequently. And now I'm told Josh Allen goes there as well as his yeah. family. Ah. Quiet. You could probably put away all that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little secret. If only those walls could talk. Exactly. <laughs> all right, Dale, thank you for another great dine and dish. You bet. Thank you for watching. For more videos like this from ABC 30, just make sure to hit that subscribe button below.